Hi, I'm Ms. Rebecca Newburn, and the purpose of this video is to show you some strategies on how to simplify exponents. So the first problem here, x to the second times x to the fifth, there are some laws of exponents that you'll learn when you get to algebra, but I think it's a really good idea just to learn what it means. Okay, if you know what this means, then you'll naturally discover the laws of exponents. And you'll remember because you understand them. So x to the second means x times x times x to the fifth. That's 5x's, x times x times x times x times x. So this is x to the second, 2x's, times x to the fifth, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5x's. So combining that, or simplifying that, this is x to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, the second problem is using the fraction bar, which tells us to divide. So when we're setting this up, x squared is x times x over x to the fifth, so that's our five x's multiplied by themselves, and then you can start to simplify your fraction by looking for fractions that are equal to one. So x over x is a fraction equal to one, that crosses itself out, it's equal to just a big one. x over x is a fraction that's equal to one. Now, common mistake number one. So avoid this mistake. Students see this and say this is x to the third power. That's not right, okay? Second common mistake, also avoid this one. Students go, well, it's zero because there's nothing in the numerator. That's not true, there is. Okay, this is not equal to zero. So what this, one way to think about this is we were saying that these were equal to one. Well, one times one is one. And in the denominator, that's x to the third. Okay, so one of the things I would just kind of encourage you to do is even when you start to learn the laws of exponents, try to do a couple in the expanded form, writing all the x's out so you see it. And the second thing I really encourage you to do is really ask yourself, where are the x's where the variables located? So if they're in the denominator, you're going to have a fraction. So be careful about that. Also, a lot of times people will see this and start to just multiply them out or reverse. We'll see this and write this problem. So those are some of the common mistakes. And this hopefully will give you some strategies on how to kind of check your work as you're going over so you don't make careless mistakes. So good luck. Practice, practice, practice. And check out some of the other videos.